the Heath Coat Drawback in Prudho. Isn't that a song by the Ruddles? <laughs> Personal favorite Crescent Kellogg Spacemen were made by Crescent Toys in England for Kellogg's as a giveaway with their Rice Krispies breakfast cereal in 1960. I'm a big fan of them. I like how they're not heroic looking Flash Gordon types, kind of porky workaday slobs who help keep the rocket ships for Flash Gordon and his type working correctly so they can make it back to be celebrated as heroes. Alright, there's our, our, our new loot and this came about the day that I sat down to pick out a Crescent Kellogg's figure to paint and decided mine were just too darn good. Looked up Edwin's Emporium, he had a couple of job lottie figures in, this was one of them. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's it's a blue figure, isn't it? It's been painted red. But he also had an orange figure. And I, I'm just drawn to the orange spacesuits and I already had a nice specimen of. But I figured we'd, we'd, we'd see which of these turned out to, whoa, look at his face, turned out to be in, uh, in, in better condition and, and I'd paint the other one. One of the deciding factors on which one to paint, I found that these recast Mark's Toys Tom Corbett space helmets actually make a decent fit and these of course are all incomplete without their original helmet. The Mark's helmets come 10 for 60 I think or, or 6 for 30 and they're not hard to find they're right there on eBay and it's definitely just a substitution it's not a replacement but I've found that they don't always fit. Okay so that's not gonna work. Yeah, his heads, some of them, their heads are a little bit too wide. And looking at them closely now, it's the new guy. Who has the most messed up looking face, and the helmet will mask that nicely. It'll just look distorted. And this guy now, he gets to join the Marks girl. And I'm intending to detail their suits so that they match. Well, here is the Palmer figure that I painted, and, and that sort of detailing would be all that I'd do. We'll give the space chimp the treatment too. We'll match it nice and clean him up real good. This sort of an interesting aside here, this figure is missing a UN flag on his staff. And I've been wondering where I'd seen the pose before and was flipping through an image library. And sure enough, here's the poster for a Russian science fiction film called Mechte Navstrechu, one of the precursors for Alien. And it almost looks like the Russian artist used a crescent figure for a model and just lopped off the UN flag. Uh, thank you to our, our YouTube viewer who confirmed all of these figures except for the camera guy. And I think these two dudes have uh, damage and they're, they're missing parts. He's supposed to have like a rock hammer. They both look like they're changing a tire. Uh, it's a perfect uh, pulp science fiction trope of the work guy changing the tire for the hottie space babe. No, really, we both got our start at the philosophy department of the University of Waterloo. Isn't that right, Bruce? One of the reasons why I love these things, they look like porky maintenance workers. And in that sense, they make me think stylistically, at least, of the Palmer plastic spacemen. Which I keep in the same case. I got them out just just because I could, but also to think about how one reminds me of the other. I'm not saying they're related. There's just something similar about them. They, they call up a similar idea about... Rude mechanicals like Parker and Brett. In spacesuits who are maintaining the rockets for the Flash Gordon types. And, and the Palmers even have a, a, a nice ground crew. Their spaceman, interestingly, clad in a Project Gemini spacesuit, but he looks like he wouldn't pass the physical. Looks like he needs to lose 15 pounds just to squeeze into the space capsule. And there's just something about the playfulness of them and that they're depicted as other than Flash Gordon. Does that make sense? They also make me think of the gem 
space figures, which I believe are female, not only because they're both from England and probably originated about the same time, very early in the 1960s, uh, these four over here are copies made for cake decoration sets during the 70s or, or even 1980s. These two are originals, 1960s pieces, and I wanted to fix them each up with a date for the astronauts ball. We'll have the two vintage ones go with the Palmer guys. There's a happy couple. They can take out and show how to have a good time. And that's a nice fit. They're in the right scale. They look great together. I don't have an ending in mind, so well, let's just call it a wrap. Miles and miles and miles.